Hi, it's Todd Gross. This actually is going to be something that I did not do. Alan Lundy was kind enough to show us his Camtasia version 8, which many of you already have, and how he is able to get rid of a background. He used Video Chief in this, but he gets rid of the background right now. Watch how he does it in Camtasia 8. And this is for Windows. The first thing I did was open up Photoshop. I created a 1280 by 720 background graphic using hex code 34ED09. I did this because I don't know how, or at least I don't even know if it's possible in version 8 to enter a hex code. And since I couldn't enter the hex code, I had to create the background in Photoshop. For those without Photoshop, you should be able to do a JPEG or a Ping and GIMP or Paint or something like that. So now we open up Chem Studio and uh, you'll notice that the way my desktop is, is a lot different than what's in a Mac version. Uh, the version 9 that uh, Todd showed. So first thing I want to do is I want to drag the uh, screenshot that I just created in Photoshop and saved into Cam Studio. Now this is so easy you're, you're not going to believe how easy this is. Take this, drag her down, bring it here, bring it all the way over to the left. Okay, so now you've got your screen here. Pull that over. You see here, this is the way mine opens up. This is my regular background, which is black. And so I don't want it black. So I want it to be this color here. So the first thing you do is you go to View, click on Project, click on Editing Dimensions. Now, down here, you're going to see Background Color. So you open this up, click on Select Color, and then you get that little eyedropper. Click right here, and now your background is the same as the um, graphic that you made. So the next thing you want to do is click on this and click on more background colors. Click on a, a blank box like here and then click OK and then click OK again and what you've done is you've now saved this as a special color in your um, backgrounds so you can now delete this delete this and you now have the background the next thing I want to do is obviously I want to enter a uh, video. So let's just take this and drop it over here. Takes a second. There it is. And you notice we've still got this, right? All right. So we drop this down here. Come over here. Click on more, go to visual properties, remove color, boom, choose the color or select the color you want to remove, click on that, click here, and you are done. All you have to do is save it as a cam rec file or produce and share. So I'm just going to go ahead and produce and share it. All right, so Alan, I want to point out that the things that you showed that were different than what I showed 
where first of all, you didn't go over any adjustment of the tolerance, but it's the same thing in Camtasia 8. Tolerance, softness, hue, and defringe, and tolerance is the important one, like I showed. So if we had trouble getting rid of that background, we could have tweaked the tolerance up in this direction to the right, especially. All right, so that's one thing I want to show. The other thing that I noticed that you did that I didn't know how to do in Camtasia Mac, I don't even know if I can do it, is you were able to take the bright green, the Kelly green background, and actually apply that as a background color rather than have two different layers. Um, and that's very interesting. So I'm, I'm glad you showed everybody that. So that's basically the different look and feel of Camtasia 8, still very similar to the Camtasia Mac to some degree that I showed in Camtasia, th uh, Camtasia 3 Mac. Now, once again, what Alan showed just now was applying it to Video Chief, but we could have applied it to the duller, darker green for the instant spokesperson kit as well. Um, that wasn't working for Video Pal either. That could have been the color that we removed as well. It didn't have to be the white that we saw from the product Video Chief. 